jumping right into the video, I'm going in and color correcting as usual. And to set my lids, I'm going in with my concealer that I use to carve out my brows. And I'm just going to blend that in really, really well. And I'm going to use this as the base for my eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with Coastal Scents Oktoberfest, I believe this is. And I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. I wanted something a little natural and neutral in my trans transition area since I'm going with a green look today. And I'm just going to place that. I'm going to blend it out very well in windshield wiper motions, of course. Then I'm going in with this darker brownish reddish shade i think i got this out of my juvia's place palette but of course i'll leave everything down below for you and i'm just going to put this right in like the outer v area and also to deepen my crease as well going back into Oktoberfest, i'm just making sure i blend everything in together and getting rid of the rid of those harsh lines at the very top because that's not count it's not at all so what have you girls been up to lately? I know I've been MIA for a good little bit, but I'm trying to get back on schedule, having a baby and all that stuff. Like, pff, girl, it takes a lot out of you. But anywho, going back in and I'm going to cut my crease now. Cutting my crease is something that I do not normally do and I don't do it all the time because I really, I'm not really good at it. But I wanted this color to pop a little bit more. So to give it something to stick to, I went ahead and decided to cut my crease. And as you can see, I'm going in with this green shade here. And I'm just going to place that right on top of that concealer. I didn't set the concealer or anything before I placed the color there. So that way it can be a little bit more vibrant. And now I'm going in with this MAC pigment. And I'm just going to put that on top of there. And I wasn't sure how this pigment was going to work. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm looking like, mm, but you know, we're going to make it do what it do. And I'm just going to go in and blend in everything together. I didn't pick up any more product on that brush either. So just whatever was left over from what I used previously. And I'm just blending out that corrector because I let it sit for a little while to give me a little bit more coverage. And now I'm going in with my, I think this is fun or toffee. I'm not sure which one, but I'm going in now to highlight under my eyes the bridge of my nose my forehead and my chin and this is just to bring these features out and I'm going to blend that with a damp beauty blender and you want to make sure that you have this blended in very well and as you can see I didn't put any foundation all over my face like I normally do, I would put the foundation and then I would go in and I would highlight those areas. But I just felt like I was wasting product. I don't know. But I'll probably go back to my old routine. I'm not sure yet. I just wanted to try something different. But um, yeah, so I just highlighted and then I went in with my foundation. It just covered the areas that I needed to cover. And I mean, it works. But I, I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, I'm going in with my powder and I'm going to set my highlighted areas and I'm taking my beauty blender the one that I use with the foundation to just even out those harsh lines from um, the highlight and the foundation just make sure they blend together and I'm going in with my contour my MAC shade NW55 it's actually a concealer but I'm just using it as a um, contour shade and I'm taking that beauty blender and just blending out those harsh lines from the contour and I kind of went a little overboard on my contour on my forehead but girl we're gonna make it do what it do so I'm taking that same beauty blender and, and with the leftover foundation and just blending everything together again because you have to make sure that you blend like you really really do and so to sharpen my contour a little bit I'm just going to take some of that same setting powder and just carve out the bottom of my contour area and get that chiseled and now I'm going to go in and lightly lightly contour my nose because this is not like a full glam look or anything but I do like to contour my nose and I don't use the same shade that I contour my cheeks or anything because it's a little too harsh for me and I just like something a little natural and more subtle now going in with my favorite NYX powder I'm just going to sweep that over where I cream contoured because you always want to set your cream contour with a powder and this powder is in the shade deep golden and it really brightens your face up it really really like adds a warm glow to you so it's a 
perfect now I'm going to line my waterline with my brown liner and I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes and go in and highlight of course like this is my favorite part just having that glow girl <laughs> yes the tip of my nose my forehead you know all those good places and of course blending that in to make it appear more seamless and melt more into the skin darkening my mold because it got covered up with my foundation of course and now i'm going to go in with my liner and i think this is in downtown beauty and i'm going to line my lips and then i'm going to go in with my nyx butter gloss in the shade i don't know if it's peanut butter y'all i'm sorry but i'll list everything below but either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon love you lots don't forget to subscribe Mwah. hey guys so this is the finished look and i hope you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be up to date when i post new videos and also give this video a thumbs up i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video Mwah.